Hi, and thank you so much for watching again. So in this portrait painting technique, we go from very, very rough to quite refined, or at least as refined as you want to go. And the beginning stage is really just killing the white of the canvas with uh, values, not as much as hues. You choose three colors of your choice, but it's more about dark, mid and bright color than the actual hue. So it's the value that you're filling in with as few brush strokes as you can, um, just kind of really roughly where the darks are going to be and where the brights are going to be. And then you take your subtraction tools. This can be Q-tips, just rags, um, and I have these. They're kind of like uh, brushes, but with a synthetic solid plastic uh, brush part. Um, and I use it like a pencil almost, um, though I have to always be careful that I don't take out too much of the dark. Uh, and then usually I have to put them back in, actually. Um, but yeah, you just start being a little more refined in your sketch um, and where eyes, nose, mouth are going to be. And uh, that's about what it looked like after that stage. Now, of course, I want to achieve a much better likeness than that. And uh, a trick how I go from this very rough stage to a better likeness. Um, I recorded an extra video on that and you're welcome to go watch that on my channel. After that first layer has dried completely, I come back for my second stage where I put in the corrections that I have found uh, where I need to uh, make adjustments for the face to get more accurate. And I first I concentrate more on the hues of the colors, um, not so much on the on the really, really sharp lines. Or I, at least I always have to tell myself that um, I try to use a bigger brush than what's really comfortable for getting accurate details in because I have a tendency to want to do that way too early and I want to be more broad with with the color uh, the hues the values again um, as you can see here I decided I do not like the background and this also made me have to change the color of the hair just a little bit to make it all make sense and yeah, I mean, I'm really still being very loose and, and free with my interpretation of that face. And that's why I like this method so much, where you do not need a grid. And it's not really 100% photorealistically accurate. Um, and there is still room for my interpretation or for how I see the face, as opposed to just copying uh, a photograph exactly. Now this is already the third and final uh, session. So the second layer has dried completely and I'm going in just um, with last details. I knew the mouth and the eyes needed a little more refinement um, and uh, the value on the chin wasn't quite right. But also I tried to bring in just a little more color. Um, I find it hard when painting from a photograph I always have a tendency to want to be super accurate as to what the photograph says. And that's actually not what's interesting to me. Uh, if I'm going to paint, um, I do want it to be a bit of a, a freer interpretation of what I see. Uh, sorry, I'm standing in the way here, but <laughs> I had to get in a little closer for the eyes. There usually comes a time when I already like it enough to get hesitant about what I do, but I do want to get more courageous. Um, so it's a, it's a difficult balance sometimes to find, um, to put those last courageous, colorful strokes in um, while you're worried you're going to mess something up. And yeah, I think the outcome is how I like it. Uh, it is not that precise, not that accurate, but it's free with color, paint, and especially um, I just really like the expression in her face. This is a very famous Austrian actress and I like her very much. Um, and um, from what people have told me, it really does look like her. So, yay! <laughs> Thank you so much for 
watching. You can subscribe to my channel, but you can also subscribe to my newsletter on my homepage. And of course, you can follow me on Instagram. Um, if you subscribe to my newsletter on my homepage, you will receive uh, coupons for some of my art that I sell um, soon. I will sell originals, but I'm also selling prints and I'm selling some of my art on products. And you will receive a coupon if you subscribe to my newsletter. So why don't you do that? Everything is linked and I really, really hope to see you again. So take care.